We have a line of thunder showers now make its way through the southeastern part of Kelloland. Nothing severe, but we do have some lightning. Kind of a line from Watertown down to Mitchell down to Platte. Again, nothing severe. Here's the way it looks in the Platte area right now. During the overnight hours, we'll see the showers and thunder showers making their way east, pushing their way out of Kelloland. Overnight low 59 Sioux Falls. We'll see a part of cloudy 51 Aberdeen, Pier part of cloudy 54 at Rapid City, mostly clear and 51. Then during the day tomorrow, we'll see the clouds start to exit during the morning hours after those light showers end. It's going to be a cooler day. 78 to follow, 76 Aberdeen, 80 in Pier and 76 in Rapid City. Lots of sunshine for the weekend. Good weather for your outdoor activities. We'll talk about that in just a bit. Kelloland News starts now. Live from Kelloland Media Group, Kelloland News first at four. A uh, former Springfield prison employee is accused of committing a felony with a prisoner. A closer look at the allegations. Plus, the discussion over banning some books in school libraries has come to Brookings. We'll explain the debate straight ahead. And later, a trip to Howard, South Dakota isn't just about hunting pheasants, what it also means for disabled veterans coming up. Good afternoon and thanks for tuning in to First and Four. I'm Don Jorgensen. And I'm Kelly Volk. A former prison employee in Springfield is accused of having sexual contact with a prisoner. 35-year-old Cassandra Jelsma is out on bond tonight. The inmate involved in the case is serving time for drug and DUI charges out of Minnehaha County. Court papers say the incident happened between November of last year and June of this year. Online records show that Jelsma no longer works at the prison. Her bond was set at $4,000 cash. Jelsma will make her first court appearance at the end of the month. A police officer in northern Iowa is dead following a shooting last night. The officer was trying to arrest a man in Algona who had a warrant for harassment. State officials identify the officer as 33-year-old Kevin Cram, who was a 10-year veteran of law enforcement. The suspect, 43-year-old Kyle Rickey, was arrested just before midnight in Minnesota. As authorities were searching for Ricky, the Iowa State Patrol issued a blue alert, which means that the suspect poses a threat to law enforcement. Authorities told people to shelter in place and lock their vehicles and doors. Ricky will be transported back to Iowa, where he'll be charged with first-degree murder. The Iowa Department of Transportation is reminding drivers to be careful when moving over for flashing lights. The DOT released this video of a crash earlier this summer along the interstate in eastern Iowa. The video shows a vehicle pulling a trailer, attempting to move over, but then hit the front wheel of a pickup, setting off a series of crashes. Nobody was seriously hurt. Oh, good thing. That one looks pretty scary, didn't it? Yeah. Wow. All right, let's get a look at the forecast. Got some rain showers kind of moving into Kelly Land. Yeah. That we do, Don and Kelly. We have some clouds moving into Sioux Falls right now. Those rain showers will be coming in later on this evening. Right now they are just to the west of Sioux Falls. Sioux Falls sitting at 84 degrees, south winds at 14 miles an hour. We are watching those rain showers to the south of Huron right now at 81, west winds at 15. There are those rain and thunder showers working their way into eastern Kelloland. Taking a closer look, we have that line of thunder showers between Watertown and Mitchell and stretching down towards south central Kelloland. There's that closer look. As these move to the east, nothing is severe. They are producing lightning and we are not expecting severe weather for this evening. Few light rain showers in northeastern Kelloland. There you can see just to the south of Aberdeen. These are also a few light rain showers in western South Dakota, working their way into Sturgis right now. We also have 86 right now in Mitchell, 80 in Brookings, 74 in Sisseton, 73 in Phillip, and 60 degrees in Custer. So for tonight, with that chance of the rain and thunder showers, we'll have 59 in Sioux Falls, 50 in Aberdeen, 54 in Pier, and 51 with mostly clear skies in Rapid City. Tomorrow morning could see a few lingering light rain showers in southeastern Kelloland. Otherwise, mostly sunny skies will have a north breeze, 78 in Sioux Falls, 76 in Aberdeen, 80 in Pier, and 76 in Rapid City. This weekend we'll have sunshine and temperatures are going to be near normal. We'll take a closer look at that with that chance of rain coming for later this evening in just a little bit. Thanks, Megan. 
A Sioux Falls man has been attending the bike night fundraiser at the Red Rock Bar and Grill in Brandon for almost 10 years. Most often, they raise money for the Children's Home Society. But last night, John Bucknell found himself on the receiving end of the fundraiser. About three weeks ago, while he and his wife were out of town at a wedding, someone burglarized their home and allegedly set it on fire. They lost almost everything they own. So the Red Rock dedicated the last bike night of the season to the Bucknell family. It really makes things a little bit easier, um, you know, from losing everything you have. I mean, I came home with a suitcase full of clothes. That's it. And we lived in that house for 35 years. Police used neighborhood surveillance video to identify 41-year-old Nathan Island as the suspect. He's the stepson of Bucknell's brother and knew they were out of town. Coming up on Kelloland News at 10, we'll hear more from the Bucknell family about what the fundraiser means to them. Well, a day shy of the opening round of the Sanford International, the tournament's ambassador was on a shopping spree at Shields in Sioux Falls, picking out clothes for the tournament and toys for kids at the Sanford Castle. Professional golfer Rob Labritz was part of the shopping spree and says that the PGA Tour champions give back for one reason. Because of this, it makes everybody smile. Um, and it's good, for, it's good for the kids that we're, we're, we're embracing. Um, I have a reach out here, so if I can bring a smile to somebody's face, uh, that's what we're here to do. We're here to, to give time for the community, and uh, that's why we're in these, in these different cities. It's awesome. We will tell you about some of the items making their way to the Sanford Children's Hospital in tonight's Positively Kelloland at 5.